Well, thank God that game is over. Scott McTominay's clutch goal in extra time, making the difference for United. 1-0 winners against West Ham tonight. David Moyes coming back to Old Trafford and stinking out the place. That was a horrible game of football, not just from West Ham, from Manchester United as well. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer made some changes, yes, but we had plenty of quality in that team. And overall, it was a largely forgettable game. The positives, job done. 1-0 through to the FA Cup next round. Scott McTominay, his seventh goal of the season. I'll go into a bit more detail on him. Alex Tellez impressed. Van der Beek, he struggled. Let me know what your reaction is in the comments below. But that game tonight there, ugh. I don't want to see that again. I don't want to see the highlights from that again. It really reminded me of probably more Louis van Gaal football than David Moyes. Just United having so much possession in that first half, but no real threat. And I suppose that's what happens when you take when you take a team like United, and we are reliant on Bruno Fernandes. Everybody knows that. It's not a shame to admit it, but when you've got a player that good and you take him out of the team, you struggle to replace him, especially when van der Beek is the replacement. And I don't mean that as a slight against van der Beek, but having watched both of them this season, they're certainly slightly different types of players. Van der Beek more enjoys passing the ball and quickly moving than receiving it inside the box, whereas Bruno Fernandes is the man to make it all happen. He's the orchestrator and the playmaker. And I think Van der Beek is a slightly different to him. Tonight, he didn't really impress that much. And given that the opportunities he's going to have are going to be limited, it, it will go slightly against him. Let me know what your reaction to Van der Beek's performance is. Somebody who did really impress me was Alex Telles, who's clearly been drinking the same sort of juices at breakfast that Luke Shaw has had, because Telles was great in that game. Great in that, great, great a bit strong. He was very good, certainly better than he has been. The good overlaps, the crosses into the box, the runs. He was intelligent and he played well and certainly more like the Telles I expected United to sign rather than the Telles we've seen so far. But overall, man, I'm really going to struggle for any more talking points from that first 90 minutes. It was just dour. West Ham, they sat there with seven on the edge of their own box in the first half, but United didn't have the quality to break them down. Mason Greenwood, I was surprised that, and a bit annoyed actually, really, that he was hooked off instead of Rashford or, or Martial. But I'll tell you what, Marcus Rashford has built a massive habit of doing this season. Even in games where he's really not playing that well. He influences it. And he, his pass to Scott McTominay was a beautifully deft touch. And McTominay, all he had to do was swing his foot through it. And he did that very, very well. McTominay, man, seven goals this season from his position is a fantastic return. And he didn't really have goals to his game last season. So that's something he's, he's bringing to his game. And he's growing in importance and he's getting better. And I know McTominay is not the most cultured of players. And I know that we could probably do better in his position than him. But he's getting better and better. And he's becoming an important part of this Ole Gunnar Solskjaer team and midfield setup. Nobody really does a driving midfield position better than Scott McTominay at the moment. Fred, I thought tonight, was very poor. Fred and Matic together. No, 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 no. I don't want to see that again. Uh, just a real lack of creativity when they're both alongside each other. It should be Fred and someone else or Matic and someone else. Fred and Matic together. No, no, no. Didn't work for me. I thought Greenwood tonight, he'll be happy with his performance. Solskjaer will be happy with his performance. And that bit of skill in the first half. Ooh, reminded me of like Berbatov. I think he did it against West Ham as well. That's definitely a sign that Greenwood's getting that confidence back. And he's clearly been lacking it this season. Someone who's definitely been lacking it is Martial tonight. Again, the game sort of passed him by. I don't really think we can say too much about our defence because what did West Ham do to challenge them? Nah. Nothing at all. I suppose they did what they could. They did that well, but that won't be a game where the defence's success is measured against. We got a, a clean sheet against West Ham, but that's not going to be the the mark of success by any stretch of the imagination. Let's see what goes against goes, goes on. Sorry, against West Brom in a few days' time. But that's my that's the only way I can react to that game. It really was crap to watch. It properly reminded me of Louis Van Gaal. And United having so much possession, but really struggling to break a team down that didn't really fancy leaving the edge of their box. And it was only injuries, really, that allowed West Ham to get into that game because Moyes was forced to make the substitutions that opened it up a little bit. But still at that point, United didn't have the quality. Bruno Fernandes coming on, it changes things straight away. Cavani coming on, it changes things. And McTominay proved himself to be the game-changer tonight. McTominay, is he... 
I don't know, let me know what you think about Matomane. It's, it, it's still a player that definitely divides opinion. But you can't say that he's not growing in importance. In I still get the feeling that he will never be a starter for United week in, week out. But in a, in a, in a game where the, the squad strength is so important, I think Matomane is going to make himself indispensable to this United squad for the next few years. Who else do we have that does the job that Matomane does? Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But the overall take from that tonight, it's job done. It's move on. Let's forget about the majority of that performance. Congratulate Scott on that goal and Rashford on that touch. Lovely. Tellers, you played well. Van der Beek, you can improve. Greenwood, yeah, it's a little bit better form. The rest of them, let's just forget about that. Let's move on. West Brom at the weekend. And if we play like that against... Well, let's not play like that against West Brom. Let's not play like that again. It really reminded me of the Van Hal days. And I do not want any memories of that. And the ghost of Moyes came back tonight. As I said, he stunk out the place. But he left with a defeat. 1-0 to United. Happy days. Job done. Move on. Who was your man of the match? Let me know what your reaction to that game was in the comments below. But I cannot believe I've actually managed to speak for over six minutes about that game. That's quite impressive.